Hello, I'm Khalil Graham reporting live from K9 News. We're here to talk about Southeast nutrition choices. I do think students should be aware of how many calories they're putting into their body because in the long run, it'll help you maintain a healthy, balanced diet as well as it'll help you live longer. I recommend that students choose a balanced diet, a balanced meal. That way it'll sustain them throughout the rest of the day. The school cafeteria provides nutritional choices to students and staff during lunch. The lunch line and the vending machines help students choose what they want to put in their bodies. There's five components to the food pyramid, and what it is is vegetables, fruits, grains, proteins, and your dairy. Underclassmen do not have the privilege of going off campus, but why do upperclassmen choose to go off campus when the school cafeteria is more convenient? I prefer going off campus because it's a privilege given to seniors and some juniors, and we've been waiting so long to actually be able to have the privilege to go off. I think it's actually definitely cheaper to eat on campus because you're getting a lot more food for your money than if you were to go off campus because if you go off campus, normally you're, you are getting the food that you enjoy, but normally it's going to be a bit more expensive. Even though staying on campus gives you more time to eat, students continue to make unhealthy food choices when providing options and maintaining a balanced diet. Does this mean students need to be more aware of what they're putting in their bodies? They make unhealthy food choices every day. Instead of getting a balanced nutrition meal, they will opt for the vending machines and get snacks like cookies and cakes and um, juices instead of getting the milk and the juice that we provide. I prefer to eat on campus because if I eat here, I can return to class on time. Meals are delicious and nutritious. What kind of lunch choices are you making during your 45 minutes? I'm Khalil Graham signing out for K9 News.